Phoenix readers, Miss Cohen in the library. I'm here today to share with you um, a nonfiction book by Steve Shankin called Undefeated, uh, the story of Jim Thorpe and the Carlisle Native American football team. Um, Steve Shankin, who's written a lot of great nonfiction, uh, such as Bomb, which is the story of the creation of the atomic bomb, and Lincoln's Grave Robbers, which we also have in the library, um, has written this book about Jim Thorpe. So if you're an athlete at all, or you're into sports, you might recognize the name. He was an, a great all-around athlete. He played professional football. He played uh, professional baseball. He was an Olympic gold medalist. Like quite an athlete. Um, but he started um, at the Carlisle um, Indian School on their football team. Actually, he started on their track team and decided that he wanted to be to also play football. Um, the coach there, whose name is Pop Warner, another name that you might um, recognize if you are into sports, um, wasn't so sure that he should be a football player. I'm actually going to read aloud a little bit of the book to you because today is World Read Aloud Day. Um, so I'm going to read a portion of the introduction to you just to get a, for you to get a sense of the voice um, that Steve Shankin creates in this new book. So here we go. So this scene is actually when Jim Thorpe runs onto the football field, is greeted by Pop Warner, who says, what are you thinking? You really should not be doing this. Um, and this is a little test to see if he's really, truly ready to be on the football team. Okay. All right, Warner finally grunted. If this is what you want, go out there and give my varsity boys a little tackling practice. He tossed Thorpe a football, and believe me, that's all you'll be to them. Thorpe caught the ball and held it, running his fingers over the leather and laces of a store-bought football for the first time in his life. He tucked the, the ball under his arm, walked to one of the chalk goal lines, turned, and studied the field. There in front of him was the famous Carlisle School football team, a diverse group of Native Americans from all over the country. There was the team he'd been hearing about, dreaming about since he was a kid. The players were spread out in the grass, maybe five feet between each man. There was no chance for a runner to get very far. That was the point. This was, tackling ex this was a tackling exercise. Warner shouted for Thorpe to begin. He started forward. The first few defenders got low and grabbed for his legs. Thorpe spun free and continued. Another group dove at him. He lifted his knees high and churned through the outstretched arms. Picking up his pace, he, fe he faked out the next few tacklers. Then, with a bit of open field around him, he turned on his sprinter's speed and was gone. The cigarette fell out from the corner of Pop Warner's open mouth. After crossing the goal line, Thorpe circled back to the coach, a huge grin on his face. He tossed Warner the football. I gave them some good practice, right, Pop? Warner's coaching assistant was smiling, too. You're supposed to let them tackle you, Jim, he said. The man was kidding, but Thorpe thought he was being laughed at. His smile vanished. He said, nobody's going to tackle Jim. Warner's square face flushed raw beef red. He slammed the ball back into Thorpe's chest. Well, let's see if you can do it again, kid. And to his team, he yelled, get mean out there. Smack him down. Hit him hard. Hit him so hard he doesn't get up. Who does he think he is? This isn't a track meet. This is football. Hit, hit, hit. Pop lit a new cigarette. Thorpe walked back to the goal line, and then he ran through the whole team again. He twisted through tackles and shoved defenders out of the way, faking some guys out and flat out blowing by others. It was a combination of power, agility, and speed Pop Warner had never seen in one player and would never again. Thorpe jogged back to Warner, no grin this time. He tossed the football to the coach. Sorry, Pop, he said. Nobody's going to tackle Jim. So if you're a football fan, if you're a history fan, you might want to come out uh, to the library and check out uh, Undefeated, the story of Jim Thorpe and the Carlisle Indian School football team. Happy reading.